to help me go through this video i literally have my warm water here with me hi guys welcome or oh, welcome back to my channel i'm manaswini and today we are going to talk about my 2023 favorites so this is basically a wrap video where i will be telling you about what beauty products i loved this year and by the way this big category beauty includes hair care skin care and makeup apart from that i'll also tell you my favorite movies my favorite moment my favorite food and just the best of everything for me this year so without making it a very very long video let's just get started i'm still recovering i'm still not completely fine but i really wanted to do this one last video before the year ends let's just get started with the first category that's beauty and in beauty let's first start with skincare so for skincare i'm gonna go step by step and cleansing being the first step my favorite cleanser of this year hands down is the kiehl's ultra facial cleanser and honestly that's like the best cleanser that i've ever used no cleanser has ever made me feel the way the kiehl's ultra facial cleanser does and I'm, I just can't explain it. It cleans my face so beautifully. I mean, you do not even know what clean is if you have not used that cleanser. That clean is just next level clean. And I, I just know that I found a favorite forever. So no competition for the Kiehl's cleanser. It is my favorite skincare product of this year. Now coming to the toner that I've loved the most this year. It is this one by One Thing. It's their Centella Asiatica extract. And this is my second bottle guys. I have never repurchased a toner in my life. Okay, maybe I have. I don't remember. But usually, I do not repurchase any toners because first of all, I'm never able to finish one. And if I finish one, I just try new ones. I have basically never loved a toner enough to repurchase it. And I have repurchased this one. And I have traveled with it. I've just always had it with me. It's, it's such a beautiful toner and whenever my skin is irritated or it's breaking down, it instantly calms it down, soothes it and you know has this nice cooling effect. I'm definitely taking it to 2024 with me. It's beautiful. For serums, I do not really have favorites like you know nothing extraordinary this year. I did not even use a lot of serums. I think in the beginning of the year I was using Niacinamide from The Ordinary. Then I started using Niacinamide from The Minimalist. And then from Plum, that is what I loved a lot. And then I completely stopped using any actives for a while. Finally, I think the serum that I actually religiously used was this one. It is the Ordinary Spink Serum, the barrier care serum that went viral on the internet. Uh, I did not see any major, you know, change in my skin. But it is something that I enjoyed using a lot because of how hydrating it was on the skin. I used to use it at night only and it just really hydrated my skin and the next serum that i have with me is this one by biocule it's their aqua boost hydrating serum it's a hyaluronic acid based serum and i spoke about it in my recent skincare favorites video that i posted last week and yeah i've been using it for almost a month now and i've been liking it, it has been really like nice to my skin and i plan to continue using it i also got this one because it's a very gentle product i've ordered some more products from biofuel and let's see how they work out in the long term i'll definitely speak about them now coming to moisturizers i think i have a lot of moisturizers to talk about uh, when the year started um january february 2023 that was the time when i was obsessed with the dot and key barrier repair cream it is the ceramides and hyaluronic skin barrier cream very popular everyone's talking about it and I loved it last year because it was so thick, it was fragrance free and it was just the perfect cream that I needed during the winter season. But as soon as it started getting hotter, my face became a little oily, which was very unusual for me because my skin has always been dry. So that was the time when I really enjoyed using the DU in my defense moisturizer. I know it was super popular and all at that time but it really did the job for me and in my opinion it's still worth the hype it's such a beautiful product i will definitely repurchase it let me tell you i have a lot of moisturizers and i'm not you know able to finish a lot of them out but i finished this one it's empty and after i was done using this one Prithi Sanal launched her brand Hyphen and I found the Barrier Care Cream. People were hating on these products so much and I still cannot understand why. I get the fragrance and all well apart but apart from that, 
ठीक है यार ठीक है अगर बहुत एक्टिव नहीं है और कुछ फायदा नहीं हो रहा बट एज अ बेसिक मॉइस्चराइजर आई थिंक इट वॉज रियली रियली नाइस एंड आई इंजॉयड यूजिंग इट सो मच आई डोंट हैव अ लॉट लेफ्ट बहुत कम बचा है इसमें ड्यूरिंग द समर दिस एंड द ड्यू इन माई डिफेंस वर द टू मॉइस्चराइजर्स दैट आई यूज एंड बाई द टाइम यू नो आई वॉज गोइंग टू एम टी दीज आउट तब तक सेरावी वॉज लॉन्च इन इंडिया एंड दैट इज वेन आई गॉट द ह्यूज टब ऑफ सेरावी मॉइस्चराइजिंग क्रीम दिस वन इट्स सो ह्यूज एंड आई एम नॉट इवन गेटिंग आई फिनिश डेट टिल हियर I loved it. I was using it on my face, and then I started using it on my body as well. I was loving using it, and then one fine day, my face started burning, and I have spoken about it in the last video. I stopped using it, and that is why it will not be a part of my favorites because whatever damage this did was taken care of by the Cetaphil Dam Cream, and this has to be the best moisturizer that I've used this year. I know it's an old one but it saved my skin. Um I'm sitting in front of the camera today. I have a very I, I have very little makeup on, not a lot of it. But you know whatever my skin is right now is because of this. It had gotten so bad and I can't tell you how bad it was last month. So CeraVe for me did not work out. So happy to reunite with this oldie. I absolutely love it and such a safe cream i trusted blindly i wasn't sure if i should include an eye cream in this video but i have one with me and this is the one that i've loved this year i finished three tubes of this one i use it every single night it is the clairs fundamental nourishing eye butter this one has peptides and i what i love about it the most is that it's very like lightweight it is very hydrating but it's lightweight before this one i used to use the clinique under eye cream which is a very thick formulation this one is pretty lightweight but very very hydrating and i love the packaging also it's very convenient and a very small amount comes out in one go you need a little bit only and yeah so this will be my favorite under eye cream for the year now coming to sunscreens i have four of them for you and all these can be used during the summer or the winter they're all my favorites and i love all of them equally the year started with this one it's the dr shet ceramide and vitamin c sunscreen you know how much i love it and then around april may i switched to more you know runny sunscreens fluidy sunscreens and that is when i started using the beauty of just on sunscreen it is almost empty and i loved using it so much and with this one i used to use the isdin photo protector sunscreen I love both of them. Both of them are very lightweight, fluidy in texture. And by the end of the year, in the last few months, I have enjoyed using the Wish Care Invisible Gel Sunscreen. Now this is also a lightweight sunscreen. It says that it's a gel sunscreen, but it's actually a creamy sunscreen which just melts into your skin. And I I was seeing it all around the internet. I just needed to know what the hype was about. And I honestly fell in love with this one. It is so affordable and so good. I wish I could explain this better. I'll quickly show you the texture of all of these. This is the Dr. Shet's one. It's a thick, creamy sunscreen. This is how the texture is. Then I have the Wish Care one. This is how the Wish Care one is. Then I'm gonna put the Beauty of Just One sunscreen. This is how the Beauty of Just One sunscreen looks. It's lighter than these. Finally, I have the Isdin one. Now this one is the thinnest of them all. This is the Isdin one, and see, it's just it's just falling off. It's so light. This is the beauty of just one one. This is the Wish Care one, and this is the Doctor Shet's one. For lip balms, I only have two with me, and honestly, my favorite lip balm the entire year has been this Bobbi Brown one. I have the shade Bear Raspberry with me and Bear Nude. I think my Bear Raspberry is over. This is Bear Nude. I'll just. put it on because why not this was the lip balm that i loved the entire year i loved using it so much and then the indie wild lip treatment was launched which is now my current favorite so ending the year with this one and i just i love both of them uh, i think that's going to be it for the skincare category no we have a face mask left and the face mask that i loved the most has to be the ns free super volcanic pore clay mask that's the one that i loved for years and that has to be my favorite this year as well 
I tried a lot of new face masks, but I did not really love anything so much. So yeah, that's one's gonna be my favorite for the year. Now coming to the hair care category, the first product that I have with me is the Wish Care Hair Regrowth Serum. You know how much I love it. You have seen me speak about it before. And in my previous videos, you have seen me apply it on my scalp religiously in my vlogs. And you also know that it has worked for me beautifully. And it definitely is the product that stood out for me this year because no hair fall product has ever helped me because no hair fall product has ever worked for me before but this one did i mean there is a massive difference in my hair right now it literally took my hair fall from this to this and i mean i i'm sure you can see the baby hair and all this new growth i'm so proud of it because i've never seen results like this before it does require you to be very consistent with it so if you're someone who's facing a lot of hair fall then please try it out. It's literally water and you can apply it at night or during the day and just, you know, move on. You don't have to wash your hair because it's so light. It does not feel oily at all. And you just put it and you're good to go. This definitely is the best hair care product of the year for me. Another product that has really surprised me from Wish Care is this one. This is the Triple Bond Repair Booster Serum. So I got this with the shampoo and I thought it will be like a regular conditioner only. And honestly, conditioners don't really work for me. I'm a hair mask person. So, but I anyway, you know, gave it a try. And I thought, okay, conditioner just August, I will hair mask. Lungi. When I washed my hair and I put it on, its texture felt like that of a conditioner only. It says that it's a booster serum, but the texture was that of a conditioner only. So I thought, okay, it's a conditioner only. But the moment I washed it off, after keeping it on for 5 to 7 minutes, my hair was softer than ever. Like, you know how much I love the Dove hair mask, right? But the results that I get from that, that being so thick in texture, I got the same results from this as well. It made my hair so, so soft and just frizz-free. I mean, I, I used it today also. And I haven't blow-dried my hair, by the way. My hair is just air-dried and i have just brushed them through but do you see where is the frizz um there is no frizz at all it's it's a magical product i had it with me for so long and i just did not give it the chance it's such a beautiful product this one is made using 10 percent amino peptide repair complex which basically includes ceramides lactic acid plant proteins etc and the texture is that of a conditioner only, but the results are magical. Packaging says that you're supposed to use it for 10 to 15 minutes, but I honestly think five minutes also does the job. If you're in a hurry, just put it on for five minutes and wash your hair and you're good to go. I'm going to continue using it in 2024 and I will definitely tell you how this works out for my hair in the long term. But for now, um, I'm almost done with this bottle and it has performed beautifully for my hair. The last product that I have with me in the hair care category is this one. It's the Indie Wild Chumpy Oil. I've spoken about it so much on my channel. I don't think I need to say anything more. I just wanted to put it in this video that this is in my 2023 favorites and I'm going to take it with me to 2024. Now coming to the second category that is makeup. I'll start with the base products. The first product that I have with me is this Smashbox Halo. It's a tinted moisturizer and I'm not a foundation person. So whenever I need to put something all over my face, I use this. And I love it because it has a really dewy finish and is very hydrating on the skin as well. Another base product that I loved using this year is the Loose Powder by K-Beauty. Now this one is in the shade Banana. I also have the translucent one and I love both of them and I'm not even kidding. I This is the only powder that I use and I love them so much. I like them even more than the Laura Mercier translucent powder. That one's literally just sitting in my vanity and I'm sure it's gonna expire soon. But these, I just can't stop using them. I'm almost done with this one. Now let's talk about some blush. The first one that I loved using this year is this one by Rare Beauty. It's their liquid blush in the shade Hope. It's such a pretty everyday color. I've used it so much. I'll quickly show how it looks. This is how the shade is. 
it's such a pretty color and it looks brighter on camera it is not this bright it's a very subtle shade now coming to the next one if you've been following me for a while then you know how much i love the berry tint the basic one the classic one it's so beautiful i have used it every single day this year and it it just i don't think anything can ever compare to it for me and the berry tint is honestly the most natural looking blush out there and apart from the berry tint the tints that i've used so much this year is this one by the body shop it's the sheer touch lip and cheek tint this is you know the exact shade of the berry tint the only difference is that it is much much more pigmented do you see how pigmented this one is that is why i have so much of it left these are the three blushes that i use the entire year the highlighter that i love the most is this one by benefit it's the what's up highlighter it's a cream highlighter it's a very subtle highlighter and if you're someone who's into you know blinding highlighters then you're not gonna like it so much if you want that glow from within then this is the one that you should go for i literally did my makeup all over again coming to my lips apart from the tints that i just showed you these are the only three products that i reached out to this year i did not wear a lot of lipstick i think velvet teddy was one that i wore and the one that i loved using this one was this one by charlotte tilbury it is their nude romance and it's such a nice nude color i found this one when i you know uh, when i was looking for pillow talk and i'll quickly show you how the shade looks this is how the shade looks it's a very nice nude color it's a brownie nude and i'll swatch it for you do you see how pretty it is it looks a little more you know pinky in this video but it's not it's warmer it's brownier and the packaging definitely wins there is just one lipstick honestly because this year was all about lip oils and the lip oil that I love the most this year is this one by Makeup Revolution. It's such a lightweight oil. It's not sticky at all. Um, and I'll quickly show you how it looks on my hand. I know it looks pink, but it's not. It's just a clear lip oil. And I think it's under 500 rupees also. Lastly, the lip gloss that I was obsessed with the entire year is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. What a beautiful shade. I've, I mean, so many times you guys are asking me, what are you wearing on your lips? I think for every video, I had this on my lips. I think I mixed the gloss and the lip oil, but yeah, I hope you understand what I'm saying. This is the gloss. It has a little bit of tint. This is very thick and heavy on the lips, whereas the lip oil is very light on the lips and is actually very glossy. I just put it on only, man. I, I love this lip oil. see it's so shiny i i just i love it yeah that was it for makeup as well now coming to fragrances the fragrance that i loved the most this year has to be the sol de janeiro yosa 62 it's my favorite fragrance ever it's so good but this year i have used their body wash their base their creams their duo stick i have used everything and i have loved everything a lot of fragrances give me a headache but this one stood out i literally use this small one as a hand cream because it's just so good i never get bored of it now coming to my second favorite scent i think it would be victoria secrets bare vanilla i love it so much it's such a sweet and sexy vanilla fragrance i also love the kayali vanilla but i like victoria secrets bare vanilla just a little bit more never thought i would be saying this but it is what it is now coming to the next category that is the best movies and tv shows that i watched this year so honestly i did not think about it and i just sat down to shoot this video don't even think i can name some movies like this because i'm i've watched a lot of movies i think the movie that i was the most excited about this year was rocky and nani ki prem kahani and that was because it was giving kabhi khushi kabhi gum energy and i just really needed a movie like that I don't know if you know, but I love everything Bollywood and Kabhi Kushi Kabhi Gum and DDLJ have to be, you know, 
my all time favorites i can watch them so many times and i think it was the only movie that i watched in the theater honestly after covid this was the first movie that i watched in a theater and it was totally worth it i had so much fun watching it i loved how alia looked in the movie i loved ranveer's energy the movie was great a movie that i can remember right now is palm springs i think it's a 2020 film but i watched it this year and i really enjoyed watching it it had something to do with time travel maybe i don't really remember but it was a good watch like it was a feel good nice movie another movie that i really liked was fair play um it was a movie about a couple that worked in the same company together and had some sort of ego clashes and whatever it was a very nice movie it was very depressing though because um i don't know if you've watched blue valentine or the revolutionary road it has a very similar vibe but in the modern world it's it's just super like sad and depressing and dark but it's it's a very like good movie it's a very good watch i love how the characters develop throughout the film yesterday i watched pretty woman which is a classic it's such a beautiful movie julia roberts and richard gere it's such a feel good movie i love it for tv shows i do remember some the one that i loved recently was ginny and georgia i had a really good time watching it i literally watched the entire thing in um a week there were two seasons i loved watching it this year i also rewatched suits which is one of my favorite shows out there also watched uh, working moms this year which which was also a pretty fun show to watch they've made it funny in a very beautiful way i also watched orange is the new black this year i watched a lot of shows with a you know strong female lead orange is the new black was also dark and it was a difficult watch sometimes because there there were a lot of triggers in that show then we have you season 3 or season 4 which season was it whatever season it was but you is such a stunning show um i am obsessed i mean my husband also loves it so much we literally wait for it wait for the next season to come and so these were some shows and movies that i liked this year the next category is food i'm going to tell you the best food that i've eaten this year the first thing on my list would be um this instant ramen this particular one It's so so good. I don't know how to pronounce it, bulldog or whatever. This is the best like noodles I've ever had. I'm not even kidding. I'm such a loyal Maggie person, but this particular one, it's just so thick and gooey and just so nice to eat. I love it and it's also super spicy. The next thing that I really enjoyed eating this year was these chili cheese dim sums at Yumi in GK1. If you're from Delhi, then you should definitely check this place out. These dim sums are literally the best cheese dim sums that I've ever had. They're so good. I think I have a lot of things that I loved eating this year. The next thing would be the edamame hummus that I had at a place in Goa. This was the first thing that we ate after we landed and this restaurant was called Mai. I think it's Mai only and this edamame hummus was so good. It was so creamy. Especially it the poi that it comes with, freshly baked poi. Poi is basically Goan bread. That with that hummus best combination ever something that i have been eating for a few years now but i loved so much this year has to be um why why laughing at majnu ka tela there is this one particular aunty that makes it i mean there are a lot of people who sell laughing but there is this one aunty that i love and she sits just beside the temple and oh my god oh my god the laughing is so good she just makes it with so much love i love that aunty and i love the laughing and yeah let me know if you're from delhi or not if you've been to bajnu ka tela to have laughing it's such a fun thing to eat um, the chocolate tiramisu at big chill it's it's so good it's heavenly i'm not even kidding how coming to the best moment of 2023 getting a tattoo with my best friend she came back to india in january and we got a tattoo together like matching tattoos this is how it looks that felt really nice and would definitely be um one of my favorite moments from this year now coming to the highlight of my year i think for me this year um my youtube community would be the highlight because it was something that i did not expect i wanted to work hard i wanted to put up videos regularly but i never thought that i will get so much love back from the community it's the best thing that has happened to me this year 
I am so grateful and I am so ready to work harder in 2024. Keep giving me all your love. That would be it for today's video. I have spoken so much. My jaw hurts. I hope you guys enjoyed this really long video. I tried fitting in whatever I could and I tried my best to not make it super super long. I'll definitely do a live someday so that we can talk more. I would love to know your favorites for the year too. So definitely drop them in the comments below. I will reply to each and every one of you. I will see you in the next video in the next year. Bye.